So for me, the dark web is a portion of the internet which can only be accessed through certain anonymizing systems like Tor, I2P, and Freenet. Now, these require a little bit of technical knowledge to set up. A proxy mm -hmm. connection has to be made into these networks. You can't just roll on up and access them for most cases. There are other right. ways to get there too, but we won't go too deep into that. So I guess I would like to just dig into this a little bit here. So the, the advantage there is that where it's hosted or who's hosting it has been anonymized. And the users accessing it have also or been anonymized. anonymized. True. So it, it, saves, uh, it saves them, the, I guess, it's, so it's intended to sort of get rid of some, I guess, some risk in some Risk, cases. attribution, right. whatever you want to call it, whatever ties your identity to what you're doing. Okay. Um, but access to it is also not trivial. Right, you I can't mean, just you stumble across it. have to install like another tool or something mm -hmm. in order to access it. Yeah. Whereas the deep web um, is commonly understood to be portions of the internet which are not indexed by search engines or easily accessible by most users. Right. So if I go and I throw something into Google, if I want to learn about laptops and I put in laptop, you know, that would be the surface web. That would be things that are already indexed and easily accessible. Now the deep web is not necessarily bad stuff. It could just be that Google or Bing hasn't gotten around to indexing it yet. Right. It could be that it was you know, never submitted to these engines. Maybe someone's taking pains to not ex you know, advertise the fact that a particular service is running somewhere. Well, the normal, uh, the normal scanning is based on where you point it to. Is that right? So it's, uh, if you don't give them a reference point, it's mm -hmm. not going to show up. Sure. And for, there, are, there are many sites that have large areas that might be considered deep web simply because they're not indexed. So for example, if you've got a shopping site and it's hundreds and thousands of pages, not every single one of those pages has a result in Google. So you can't get there from, mm -hmm. from Google. So it's technically deep web. It's just not indexed. You can't just search through it and find the content. Mm -hmm.